You know, uh, all the problems we have is because we're out of touch with the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. Uh, remember, and I'm going to talk about it in the next session, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, knowledge, counsel, understanding, piety, fear of the Lord, and so forth. You don't get those gifts if you evict the Holy Spirit. Remember, St. Paul said, we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Don't you know you're the temple of the Holy Spirit? Therefore, do nothing, meaning sin, to evict the divine guest. If you're living chronically in sin, you will, you will not have the Holy Spirit to guide you. you be, you're in darkness. How can you see if you're in pitch black dark? You can't. It's like a blind man. He can't see. Don't get mad at him. It's not possible for him to see. The, this, what you're seeing, this craziness in politics, even in law, in society, in your family, among your friends sometimes, you know how you, you just, why can't they see it? They're blind. Blindness is a direct consequence of serious sin. They are blind to the splendor of truth. They are deaf to the symphonic notes of truth. They're mute. They can't speak the words of truth. They're lame. They're crippled. They can't walk towards God. It requires a miracle to give sight to the blind and hearing to the deaf. and make the crippled man walk. Indeed, to raise the dead to life. That has to happen one person at a time. Jesus will come in the power of the Holy Spirit through you and through me. And don't expect it to happen any other way. You have to do this. This isn't optional. You know, we're going to be called it at the end of our life. We will be called to give an accounting. And, and I'll tell you something. This, this scares me. I don't take this for granted. Don't think I'm in, in a different boat from you. I'm in the same boat you are. Everyone, you know, you don't go alone up or down. You don't go to heaven alone, and I don't go to hell alone, and so forth and so on. We don't go alone. You will take a large number with you to heaven or hell. We are responsible for souls, each in our own way, priests in one way, the lay faithful according to their own state in life, religious according to their state in life, but we don't go alone. Don't forget that. Work assiduously. Work hard with all your heart, mind, and strength.